Good morning! Whoa, it's bright. Oh, it's because I have my studio lights on there. Duh, Adele. Good morning, everyone. I thought I'd do a bit of a vlog today because it's been a while since I've vlogged. I've been really crook, like sleeping about 18 to 20 hours a day, which hasn't been great fun, but I'm feeling smidgest a bit better today. I think my... <coughs> goodness I am um, I think my b12 injections finally kicked in and so I'm starting to get a bit of the energy back the baby to me is sucking out of me so I thought this will probably be the last vlog before he arrives maybe unless we vlog on the weekend it's five days until my due date um, and so I have a few last minute things I want to do today. I just filmed a little haul video for my main channel, Inky Quill. The bunnies are being suspicious. Can you see them over there? They're being a little bit naughty. What are you two up to? Hey? Oh, Frida, did you just flop? You are the cutest. <laughs> they're, um, they're loving the weather because we've had thunderstorms all week and they love thunderstorms and cloudy days. They don't like the heat. So I'm going to, oh my God, now they're kissing. They're trying to steal the limelight. It's having a sneaky little makeout sesh over there. Oh my gosh, oh, I have to take you over there. But I'm gonna go get ready. I've got really frizzy hair because in this weather my hair goes Poof! So I've just put on a bandana to try, <laughs> to try and save you from being poked in the eye with my flyaways. I'm gonna meet up with Aaron in his lunch break because we've got to go to Centrelink, which is like our government pay office thing um, because I need to apply for my maternity leave because I left it a bit late but you can do it like 30 weeks after you have the baby so that's okay um, so I'm gonna meet up with Aaron on my lunch break I've got to go get a new iPad cover because my one is so embarrassing and I look at this it's it's literally falling apart like can you see <laughs> You can see the innards, which isn't a good thing. And I figure I will be taking it to hospital because I'm attached to my iPad by the hip. Um, so I'd like a new cover using some of my birthday money that mum and dad gave me. And I've got to go buy some fabric to make some curtains for the nursery too. So that's exciting. So come along. Ignore this giant cupboard. We just switched over the cupboard that the TV usually is on. But look at this. You guys, you're so cute, aren't you? Look at your little footsies, Poppet. Look at you. It's one of those days today, a rainy, snuggly day. Poppet, you are just in heaven, aren't you? Oh, you're so cute. Here's a little sneak peek of some of the goodies that I just got that I'm posting in my haul. Lots of tiny word stickers and yay, prettiness. I can't wait to start using it. P.S. How freaking cute are my slippers? I can't really see my feet anymore <laughs> because of the bump, but they're cute little fluffy bunnies. Poppet doesn't like them. She tries to eat them and Frida kisses them. <laughs> So I get a lot of random questions about my eyelashes on my main channel, anyway. Um, asking if they're real. They are real. They're 100% real. So this is one with mascara. And this is one without mascara. And the reason why it looks like I have no eyelashes is because they're ginger. And you can't, <laughs> you can't see them. Um, I use Falsies Volume Express Maybelline Mascara and have had for ages namely because I picked it up once and it did the job I'm not a makeup person I only wear mascara 
that's it. I don't do foundation or contours or any of that. Um, but yeah, so that's that's what I use for my eyes, for my peepers. My eyes are all done. In oh, did I just get did? This is a problem. I know it's a <laughs> minor problem in the world, but when you have long eyelashes and you close your eyes, it gets everywhere. And then if you also wear glasses, whoop, if you also wear glasses, it gets on the glasses and it streaks your glasses. So for a while I have to, I, I wear my glasses further down my nose because otherwise my eyelash gets stuck and I'm like, <laughs> and I can't open it properly. But yeah, so I just put two coats on and they're done. Yay! The bump is feeling very big today. Very, very big and very, very hard. And I just realized I had the fan on that whole time. Whoa! So pale. Um, I had the fan on that whole time, so don't know if you heard any of that. <laughs> Who knows? So before I go, I have to grab up some birth certificate stuff and some documents and probably unpack the dishwasher and oh, I did a load of washing. I should probably hang that out before I go. Poppies? What are you doing back there? Why, why, why are you there? What are you doing? Hello? So you can see this is where Poppet slept last night. <laughs> Because she's molting at the moment, aren't you? She's molting and leaving hair everywhere. Isn't that fun? Little Miss Destroyer, what are you doing? So if you've seen their house in other videos, this is where it currently stands. Poppet fell through the ceiling because she destroyed it too much. But she still loves her house. A lot of people do ask about the bunnies and toilet training. And you can see Poppet here modeling. <laughs> modeling her toilet little poo tray very well. So they are toilet trained. The only time you'll see a random poop is when they're cranky and they poo right there. Or if they're excited and they leave one little spot somewhere in the house. Or... If Frida's in there and Poppet scares her and Frida jumps out, <sighs> that was that was very good timing. This is Leo and he is our seven-year-old plain old goldfish and he constantly looks like he wants to, he's planning, he's plotting his revenge to kill you. Aren't you Leo? Constantly plotting. So I often stand washing up in the kitchen and he will just stare at me in the corner here always watching almost left the house with my bunny slippers on that would have been fun wouldn't it Adele this little one today is thinking that she rules the house poppies I just caught her sitting on top of my laptop who wants grapeies yeah Oh, here's the other one. So, for people asking if they know words and stuff, they do know different words. So, you see the grapey, where they each get, pop it, don't be mean. They each get a little grape. There's yours. There's yours. I usually give them two because fruit's just a treat for them. Alright buns, I won't be long, I'll be home soon. Does, it, does anyone... I'm so hot and sweaty. <laughs> it's a cold day. But the pregnancy is so hot. Um, does anyone else say goodbye to their pets before they go? Please let me know I'm not the only one. Because I always tell them won't be long. <laughs> I don't think they care or know. But it's the thought, it's the thought that counts. Right? Okay buns. I'm I'm actually leaving now, okay? Is that is that alright with you? Is that <laughs> is that okay? 
Don't be too sad. It's all right. I'll be home in a little while. Okay, Pops? Bye, Bubby. Oh. <laughs> Bye, bunnies. Bye. i got to go. Bye. Okay, I'm finally somewhere where it's not home and it's not bunnies that I'm vlogging. Fellow crafters in Australia will understand my excitement because in the complex near me, we have Officeworks over there, which is like a giant stationery shop. And then we have Spotlight here, which is like our equivalent to Michael's and Joanne's and it's our big craft store. And then there's Bunnings in the back. So there's four stores in this complex. Three of them are my favorites. It's going to be a good day. I don't know which one to get. I don't know whether to get that one, that one, those ones. Oh, there's Winnie the Pooh. goodness so we went to Centrelink and we were there for an hour which was fun there's a lot of interesting people there too so we were there for an hour Aaron was late going back to work because they had to take his license to do a um, check that it was him um, and all we needed was two numbers and then we walked out of there easy easy trip so I did go to Officeworks. I didn't buy an iPad cover because I got too confused. So I'm going to go to JB Hi-Fi because I think they have nicer ones. And I went to the PO box as you saw and I got spoilt rotten. I got two big boxes as well. So I'll show you them when I get home. And so I'm going to go JB. And I think that's about it. I think, maybe. So I'm finally home. It's been a big day and little bub is moving around um i had a little nap when i got home made myself some lunch but i thought i'd show you the ipad case that i ended up with it's it's not my fave but i was desperate for an ipad case so i got this logitech one because I mainly use it for watching videos and this came with lots of angles so I'm going to say goodbye to <laughs> my poor old typewriter one and pop my iPad in here and then I've got all of this happy mail got so much which is amazing so I'm gonna have a look through that as well nice I think it does the job quite well it's very um solid which is why i got this one as opposed to the cheaper one it's quite expensive but i need I, I use my ipad every day all day so not all day but a lot of the day and look at it's even got a little window so your ipad can see out and have a view how kind oh my goodness i got spoiled so many things i just have to show you a couple of things just want to say a huge thank you. I'm going to put everyone's name down here that sent me things that I collected today. Thank you so much. It's just, it's so nice to know that people like my videos and just, just that I make them happy. That's all I ever want, just to make people happy. Oh my goodness, Erin, you are a genius. You knitted so many cute little things, like a little hat. Ooh, for little baby to me and Glenda sent this gorgeous gorgeous bunny I've got postcards I've got bits and pieces in all of this and then over here whoa. hang on I need my other hand hang on there we go 
Look at what Terry found. I love it, born to be rad. And she got a bigger one too, so that he can have both sizes. That is awesome, no one's bought a rad thing. I only have one other rad thing, which is a little black onesie from Best and Less here in Australia. This is making me hungry, so I'm going to have to go eat now. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to say a huge thank you to anyone who sent me stuff and baby Tomb is just spoilt with all of your love and affection he really is honestly reading your kind words has just has made my day everyone so thank you so much for the postcards and the letters and the the gifts that you didn't need to buy thank you they're beautiful they really are so I've hung out the washing that's all done and now I'm pre-prepping some dinners so I can freeze them while we're babying so that we've got some food to eat. So I'm making a chicken vegetable pasta bake tonight so I'm just chopping up the chicken. No, that's not chicken Adele, that's vegetables. So I've got some baby corn, capsicum, carrot, zucchini and some tiny taters and watching a bit of Project Runway and then Aaron will come home and chop up the chicken because I just... I just can't deal with the smell of raw meat at the moment. It's just, it makes me feel really, <laughs> I haven't been able to smell, I haven't been able to deal with the smell of raw meat since first trimester. So Aaron's going to cook the chicken and hopefully once the baby's born, I will be able to go back to cooking chicken raw. Look who's home. Hello. Which way are you going? Mm. Oh, are you getting kisses? I'm in the pot. Are you getting all the kisses? So, super easy. Boiled some pasta. Going to add my vegetables. Oh, get up, get up. <laughs> then going to add some pasta sauce. We're doing the five cheese. Because it's freaking delicious. Let's go with that much. Deli doesn't like hers very saucy. No, I don't. See, and then I, with I great would put the entire thing it. in. <laughs> but it's not great difficulty indeed. Yeah. You just work it, work it, work it. Work it in. And then Aaron's been cooking the so, chicken yeah, in it's, it's truffle right oil and butter. Yep. And then we stir the chicken in, add some garlic granules and some salt and a handful of tasty cheese. And then plonk it in a baking dish, sprinkle cheese on top, Bob's your uncle. Yum! Oh, so now it's in the baking dish and I'm just going to sprinkle some tasty cheese and some parmesan on top and then bake it. Look, I experiment. I, I usually bake everything at 190 <laughs> and then usually about maybe 25 minutes or so when it's all golden and yummy. Mm. Um, pop it. No, <laughs> this is not your dinner. Mm, no human food for poppies. No, no. <laughs> She's going to try though. Just She's gonna try her hardest. The other one's down here. Freeny! Freeny cat! What are you doing? You guys are being very cat-like today. Mmm, it's all yummy and cheesy and I may have started picking at this corner because it looks too yummy. So I'm gonna chop this up into some takeaway containers and pop them in the freezer. Aaron, meanwhile... I'm getting the snugs. Aaron's getting all the snugs. Oh. Oh, she's being so snuggly. <laughs> oh, poppies. Hey guys, and it's now time to end the vlog. Crept in here just at the end. Uh, we had an amazing dinner. It was really nice. Adele worked so hard on it, and it was amazing. Uh, we've had a really big day, so we're just going to go to bed. Um, and we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!